Thanks to our magnificent brains, most of us live out our lives under the delusion that we are in control. But are our brains truly in control? Makes you think, doesn't it? Engrossed in the thrilling cinematic exploits of their ancestors, the freelance police have had no time to ponder these eternally vexing questions. But in mere moments, they and you will be plunged headfirst into these murky philosophical depths when Sam returns from his ill-timed bathroom break to discover they stole Max's brain. Max? Little buddy? No, 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 no! What happened? Hey! What happened to Max? Talk! We don't know! One second we were guarding the devil's toy box, then BAM! Out went the lights! Through a fog of rage, darkness, and raisinets, I tried to remember what Flint Paper told me about interrogating suspects. Rule number one, don't let the suspect control the conversation. Get him talking, then surprise him, interrupt him with a question, or call him a liar, freak him out! And if all else fails, bring little Miss Persuasion out for a stroll. Actually, I think it was more of a boom, really. What are you talking about? The Devil's Toy Box! It's a source of horrible, terrible power! And now it's gone! We're doomed! Doomed! Stop doing that! What else can you tell me? Well, that's the last thing we remember until you woke us up and started snarling at us. Um, yeah, that's the last thing we remember. Rule number two, timing is everything. When you hear the suspect lying, that's when you jump in and accuse him. Yep, I was totally unconscious the whole time. Liar! All right, all right! I came to before Jebediah, just in time to hear the telltale sounds of a brain being removed from a bunny. Obadiah, why didn't you do anything? I was... Afraid? Afraid that he'd remove my brain, too? Who? Who took Max's brain? It was the Space Gorilla! Skunk Abe! Of course! He must have been released from the Petal Zone when the toy box was stolen! I'm so sorry! Not half as sorry as that brain-stealing Space Ape's gonna be when I catch up with him. Rule number three! Mole men are easy! To crack the tough nuts, you'll need information to prove your case. Sometimes you gotta ask around to get the dirt on the doers. Now, go get them! I wrote a mental note to thank Flint at Max's funeral and got ready to squeeze some punks.
General Skunk Ape. I should have known. That space ape had wanted Max's brain ever since he found out it was special. Now that special brain was gone, and I was cut loose, drifting in the neon current, hoping for a lucky break. Hello, ugly. You! You're one of Skunk Ape's goons! Where's your boss? What did he do to my little buddy? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the dimensional boundaries. Unjustly? Don't make me chortle. When you get right down to it, we all deserve to get tossed into the penal zone. You, me, the guy who delivers your deep dish pizzas, all of us bubbling over with sin and corruption and- Is there a point to this or are you just trying to get me depressed? Sorry, just thinking out loud. Where were we? As I was saying, since Skunkapi's imprisonment, I've been reevaluating my life choices. I've abandoned violence for a career as a science bin. It's a very fulfilling low temperature job. More you can't reevaluate your way out of fate, chump. We're all headed for a pine box and a boilerplate eulogy, and you can't change that any more than a tiger can change his pants. You possess a very depressing worldview. It comes with the territory when someone cuts out your partner's brain. But enough about me. You should uh, talk to the rat. Yes, the rat. He's rat? What rat? Frankie the Rat. He traffics in stolen merchandise and tawdry gambling rings. Where can I find him? He hangs out on the corner of Vinny and Vidi in the Latin Quarter. Frankie the Rat. The name left a bad taste on my tongue and an itchy sensation in my boxers. Still, there wasn't a rodent more plugged into the bad wiring in this city. Hey, rat. Sam, uh, buddy, uh, how's it hanging? My partner's got a bad case of a missing brain, and someone thinks you might know something about it. Uh, brain, huh? Uh, well, I did see something unusual and brain-related a little while back. Spill! I was giving directions to a confused tourist. Poor fellow was wandering around in circles. Square! Hey, take it easy, big fella. I sent him right over there away, about two miles. Frankie the Rat helping a tourist? It was absurd. Absurd like Max was, back when he had a brain. So imagine my surprise when I found Frankie's tourist wandering around the bad side of town. You, foreign guy, what's your story? Ooh, an American police shakedown. How thrilling. Yeah, it's a real honor. Now, what do you know? Well, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. And Frankie sent you here? Yeah. That dirty lion rat. You know, back in Europe, I had so many warnings about your country's rats. You lie! You're right, it was more like 57 minutes ago. Yeah, but you American police are stinklers. Anyhow, Hogan, 
I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of a sudden a Weltraumliebe Wacht Zauberkrieg erupted in the middle of one of your asphalt fjords. At least I think it was Weltraumliebe Wacht. Ultra soup color what now? Weltraumliebe Wacht Zauberkrieg. My people sweat for a stunning battle between a strangely garbed man and an alien space gorilla carrying a brain in a jar. <sighs> so, where was I? Oh, yes! After the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty handled and ipple skippled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the clothes on my back. And you know what else? I'm stuck. People in this country are so intense! The tourists seemed like just another victim circle in the drain, but I knew there was more to the story. It was time to circle back and flush out the truth. Frankie, what do you know? I was given directions to a confused tourist. To the museum district? Yeah. Poor fellow was wandering around in cycles. Don't lie to me, Frankie. I talked to your tourist, and it looks to me like you sent him over to the wrong side of town to get rolled by your rat pack. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But this conversation is over. I ain't saying nothing till I get some legal representation. Annoy for some people, trampling a rat's God-given merengue rights. Do you want a lawyer? Here's an attorney from Smith & Wesson. Okay, okay, I'll talk, I'll talk. Sheesh. Like you guessed, I gave the tourist directions to the bad side of town, but I was just winding them up, really. Hey, ask me, the schmuck deserved it. Act the whole stinking city's wound up. Look, like a. Do you want me to finish my story, or do you want to go off on another depressing tangent? I'm not really sure. Anyway, when the big fight broke out, me, the tourist, and the other gorilla ducked down behind the crate, and I, uh, picked their pockets. The tourist was loaded with high-exchange European stuff, but all the other guy had was funny-looking green cubes. Other gorilla? What other gorilla? Believe it or not, it was another space ape. He was spinning a sign for some pet store, the poor schlub. So that dirty punk sign spinner did see Skunk Ape. Anyway, after the fight moved on, the tourist got a nice souvenir for his trouble, and I skedaddled back here. And that's all I know, honest. Souvenir? Yeah, uh, something fell out of the funny hat guy's pocket, and the tourist scooped it up. What was it? I don't know, uh, something. So, the tourist didn't leave empty-handed after all. So what now? Stick around. I may be back. I shall count the minutes. A repeat performance. Let's run through it one more time and speak slowly. I'm an American. As I said before, about an hour ago, I was getting directions to the museum district from one of your colorful local rats. You know, back in Europe, I had so many warnings. Another lost soul on the highway of life, forced to get directions from the rats at their feet. Excuse me? I'm afraid I don't understand your greedy American metaphors and illusions. <sighs> Oscar Bay? I was about to give him a tip for the help, when all of a sudden a Weltraumliebe Wacht Zauberkrieg erupted in the middle of one of your asphalt fjords. At least I think it was a Weltraumliebe Wacht Zauberkrieg. A hard range coming, pal. And when it comes, you're gonna wish you were only in a Weltraumliebe Wacht Zauberkrieg. Your grimness is depressing, but something must be getting lost in a translation. So, as I was saying, after the fight moved on, I discovered that someone had picked my pockets, leaving me empty-handled and ipple skippled in a strange land. I left the scene of the crime, carrying nothing but the clothes on my back. And you know what else? I'm starting to think that this is- Don't play innocent with me, metric lover. The rat saw you pick up something after the fight. Now spill! Yeah, yeah, it's true. I took a souvenir from the fight. I didn't think anyone would notice. Here. Norrington? Who the heck is Norrington? I don't know, I don't know, just don't hurt me! You Americans are all animals! Animals! Finally, a clue. Norrington. The name rang fewer bells than a sleigh in July. Fortunately, it didn't need to.
Crime Tron, do your stuff! What do you mean, not found in database? The Crime Tron requires additional clues to make an informed deduction. Clues? I haven't got time for clues. Max's body is starting to smell. Differently. Then maybe you should stop yelling at my girlfriend and start with the clue hyphen finding. <coughs> the gorilla was lying to me about seeing Skunk Ape. I wondered what else he was lying about. Now, where's Skunk Ape? I don't know. I haven't seen General Skunk Ape since you unjustly imprisoned him in the penal zone. I'll never forget his final terrified howl as it echoed across the dimensional boundaries. That story ain't gonna wash, Bonzo. Your pal Frankie told me all about how you and he hit from a fight between Skunk Ape and some other guy. Now, make with a lip flap and a knife better like what I hear. It's, it's true. A few of your Earth minutes ago, I was spinning my sign for Frankie the Rat and a tourist when General Skunkape came running down the street, chasing after a strangely garbed man. To my everlasting shame, I cowered behind a crate like a common Venusian bonobo. Strangely garbed? Yes, a man in a faded jacket and a strange hat. He seemed to be carrying a box of some sort. General Skunkape was in hot pursuit. <sighs> After the general and the stranger fled the scene, I discovered that he had dropped this. I'm surprised he didn't come back for it, but he appeared to be in something of a hurry. Hurry it up! Give me that toy! No! I need it to get back in General Skunkapi's good graces! Once I return this artifact to the general, he'll forgive my temporary abandonment of his goals and welcome me back to his crew with open arms. Oh... Oh, I've come to miss standing at my general's side these past two hours. Huh. You're fooling yourself, kid. What are you talking about? The only thing Skunk Ape's gonna welcome you with is a fistful of phasers. You can't go home again. You can't even get on the porch. You've tasted the apple, peed in the pool, bitten the hand that rocks the cradle. You're a sign spinner to him now, and that's all you're ever gonna be. You're right. It's hopeless. No matter what I do now, I'll never soar through the galaxy at my general's side ever again. And I hate to tell you, but you're not a very good sign spinner either. I hated to see a grown gorilla cry, so I got in the car and looked for another lost soul to join me as I gazed into the abyss. Last time we saw the rhinoplasty toy, Max's special brain used it to turn into a bazooka. Now it was going to lead me to the guy who stole that special brain. It wasn't exactly ironic, but I didn't care. Okay, Crimetron, this is your last chance before I start looking for an upgrade. Come on, you obsolete hunk of junk. Talk! We're Skunk Ape! Sam, no! Stop holding out on me! Get away from her, you brute! <clears throat> Finally! Audiences across the country say you're a monster, Sam! What have you become? The Museum of Mostly Natural History, the tarnished jewel of the city's once thriving museum district. Max and I always meant to visit, but we'd never gotten around to it. Now we were finally going to take in its thrilling and dubiously educational displays with a vengeance. <laughs>